Great morning, great morning, great morning, great morning, family. Um, no, it's not Wednesday, but it is Thursday morning. Um, I know that I have been in absentia for a couple of weeks, but um, probably more than that. But as I've shared before, I speak as the Lord wills, as the Lord speaks to me, um, that I might give you the manner that he gives me. And so as I am driving into work this morning, I was just kind of pondering and uh, meditating, one, on the goodness of God, uh, thanking him this morning as I was awakened for his grace and mercy that are made anew every morning. We get to see new mercies. Yesterday's mercies are done, but today, 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 friends, our God's mercies are renewed in our lives and over our lives. And I'm just grateful. I just have a grateful heart for so many reasons. And it's not because of anything that God has done, but just because of who he is, who he is. So who is he to you? Have you, have you worshiped and have you praised this morning, this God, who he is to you? And I'm not looking at the camera because I am driving. I see y'all, my little tree uh, that may annoy you all. But anyway, um, just wanted to get on this morning because I had not shared anything um, in the last uh, couple of weeks, few weeks probably last month, I don't know. But anyway, nevertheless, um, he's an on-time guy, right? So as I was um, pondering this morning, uh, just in my spirit, you know, I heard the Holy Spirit ask this question, do you know God's will for your life? Do you know? Do you know God's will for your life? And, you know, I love how he spoke uh, to the Jer to the prophet Jeremiah 29 and 11 I believe it is where he said I know the plans I have to prosper you to give you a hope and a future and in this hope he said to him you know this hope that I give you it comes without disappointment because if you are truly aligned and I'm just paraphrasing you know this particular scripture at this point because if your will speaking to you and to me that if our will is truly aligned with God's will then you know there is no room for disappointment or error or at least there shouldn't be right and we all know that in our humanness uh, we try to get ahead of ourselves and we try to play God and um, we try to do all these things but at the end of the day God is still God right and and there is already a purpose and a plan that has already been executed regarding our lives I may have shared this before because this is definitely an analogy that I use um, quite often and that's the fact that this life we live is a script that was written before the beginning of time. He said, he told Jeremiah, he said, before you were even formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. I knew you. I knew you before your, your, your mother and your father and whoever else. I knew you. God said, I knew you. So when I say this analogy that I use is this life scripts, our life scripts, have been written. They were pre-written before the beginning of time. And so we are merely just cast, cast members. We are actors, actresses in this play called Life because it has been written, my sister, my brother. And truthfully, there is nothing, you know, when we go, you know how, I know we probably, you know, took some acting courses in school or, you know, we had some little plays um, if we had drama class or something. And once the script was assigned, you know, all we had to do was volunteer for the script. 
or the character that we wanted to play. That's all we had to do. And then we had to just rehearse the lines and learn them in time for the production. And so it is with life, right? You know, once we choose and God chose us, truthfully, for the parts that we have to play in our lives. And um, the script was already written when he assigned it to us. So we're just going through the rehearsals. We're going through the motions. We're going through the trials and the tribulations and all the challenges that come with simply trying to just figure out our part in the play. But I want to encourage you because there is a plan. There is a purpose for your life, for my life. And I'm excited about that. I'm excited to see the fulfillment of God's purpose and his plan for yours and my life. There is nothing my sister we can do, nothing my brother we can do that can thwart the plan of God. Yes, we're going to have some, um, you know, uh, opportunities along the way that's going to cause us to get off course. But that's why this grace, his grace, his sufficient grace and mercy are so important for this journey. And we have to embrace it with every single new day that he gives us. And so with every fiber of my being, with every breath that I have in my body, I want to give God glory and the honor that is due unto him. And I admonish you to do the same. I, I, I admonish you to do the same. Um, yesterday, my husband's uh, best friend, brother, I, I call him bosom buddies. I've known him just as long as I've known my husband, which is over 30 something years. I've lost count, but I know it's over 30. And um, he was in um, a head-on collision yesterday, right at his job. And when my husband, um, he texted me because I was at work and then he, I called him and he was sharing with me. And I just began to praise God um, because as he described to me the condition of the car and um, the fact that his, his friend didn't have a way out, you know, as things is, he saw the accident happening, but he didn't have anywhere to go. But he did have somewhere to go because he was able to, to go into the arms. You know, he was able to go into the shadow of the almighty God, you know, that the scripture talks about, you know, he that dwells in the secret place of the most high, of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. You know, his wings, his wings of protection cover us, keep us when we don't even know we need to be killed. And so I just rejoice this morning, even as, you know, his his best friend, I call it my brother, our brother is preparing to go into surgery for broken ankles. You know, that was really the extent of, of his injuries, which could have been so much worse, right? His car was total. But because of God's mercy, and his grace mm. bless you father i thank you that instead of telling a different story this morning as tears well in my eyes i tell of one of grace gratefulness because of god's mercy because of god's grace and so when i ask the plan what is the plan for your life we need to know we need to rehearse those lines. We need to study our part so that we know what God's purpose and his will is for our lives. And guess where that is? And I'm talking to myself. That's in the word of God. That is in his word. That is where we study. That is where we come to know the fullness of God, his purpose, his plan. And I know he has a purpose and a plan for my husband's friend, our brother. I know he does because he kept him for a reason yesterday. And I just pray that he will always tell of his goodness, that we always will tell of his goodness and his mercy. 
So do you know God's plan for your life? Do you? And if you do not, then I encourage you to begin today to discover God's purpose and God's plan for your life. All right, that's all I have for y'all this morning, y'all. It, it was just, you know, an instant download in my spirit. And, and I know that I needed to be obedient and to get on and to share with you all what thus said the Lord. Be encouraged today. Encourage somebody else today. But most importantly, give God some glory and praise and honor because it is most definitely due unto him. All right, y'all. It's your girl. It's your girl, Antoinette. I love you all. Uh, pray that you're praying for me. Let's continue to pray for our world, especially our brothers and sisters in Ukraine. Pray for our enemies, uh, the Russians, um, and, and then even our local enemies. We have enemies in our local camps, right? So let's continue to pray for our government, our world, our nation. Um, just pray for everyone and and most importantly for uh pray for ourselves all right y'all have a blessed day today and until next time y'all be blessed take care